Hey everybody, what's going on? Today's video, a little bit different. It won't be an opening. Rather, I'm going to be showing some of the eBay cards that I've gotten recently, about within the past month or so. And most of them are Japanese and from older sets. Um, so without any further delay, we'll go ahead and get into this. I'll just go through some of these. I'll skip over some, but um, I have some from the Neo Genesis set. Uh, no notable ones, Chikorita Bayleaf. Um, you can see Oddish there and Cedra. And one of the things I like about these older Japanese cards is really I I love the back design. And I know it's silly to compare, you know, these two, but, you know, this has been around since the very start, and I know the Japanese ones have changed. Um, they look more similar to this, but when I was collecting as a kid, and I got my first Japanese card, I don't know how my cousin got it, by the way, but we traded, and I got a Japanese card, I loved the design on the back. And... I guess there's something about, I don't know, I don't know what it is about Japanese cards for me, but I have a small collection as of them, as well as of the English. Um, so I also have some from the Fossil uh, booster that was in Japanese, and a lot of these are just commons and uncommons. but. If I see, really, if I see anything at a good price on eBay, especially with the older stuff, I'll usually jump on it. And I, I recently bought a pack that was really only a few bucks, and it was, um, it had over a hundred cards from like Neo Genesis, Gym Heroes, and some from those other ones. And some of the ones I got were incredible because I have this. Raichu from um, this is uh, this one was just from the base set, and then there's the Alakazam. I have Lapras, and I'll go ahead and get a little bit closer. There's the Raichu, Alakazam, Lapras from Fossil, and then Dark Blastoise um, from a Team Rocket. You have Misty's Tentacruel. You have Gyarados, uh, Giovanni, and then Arbok isn't a hollow, but the B drill is. And these ones also came in it as well. You have, uh, I had a couple Meganiums from Neo Genesis, a Zoomeril, um, two for Alligators, a Kingdra, and a Skarmory. And, you know, I really only got it for the hollows, I guess, but it's nice to have all of the commons and uncommons as well and I always thought this that was funny because the art on the Snorlax is <laughs> very childish but probably done intentional I don't know what the exact reason but I also have some of the just like regular base set Japanese very cool um, a lot of energies this is more of the Gym Hero stuff, non-holographic, so... Um, oh, speaking of the Gym Heroes, I was at a... Oh, I don't have the card with me on... I don't have it ready for this video, but... Um, I mean, you go to these flea markets and antique malls, Some, sometimes you'll be able to find um, people trying to get rid of their Pokemon cards, and I bought some. There was like random, randomly held together with rubber band. There was four different ones, each for a dollar. I was like, whatever. And one of them had Blaine's Ninetales. Um, it was English, English cards. But that alone made buying all those worth it. So I was like, yeah, I mean, whatever. Um, I haven't had much luck at other garage and or flea markets or whatever, but um, I also have this, this hollow muck came, 
I don't think it came with the Japanese ones, but um, I also got these would be the most recent eBay cards I have that I got this week. So a non-hollow Zapdos from Fossil, then the hollow Zapdos, the same one, just hollow, and then a hollow Zapdos from base set. And you know, even if I already have the card, if I see it for a good price, I'm gonna get it. Cause chances are I could probably sell it down the road or whatever. Um, so these ones are a little bit older. Um, again, if I get them, if they're a good price, I, it's worth getting for me. So I recently got this Shadowless Mewtwo Hollow, and the glare's kind of rough on that, so I'm going to take it out of the top loader. Uh, still in a sleeve. But, I mean, to get, it is, now it's not first edition, but it is Shadowless, um, and it's a hollow. And of a Pokemon that is definitely one of the most popular ones from the first generation. So, you really do have to take an account for that, I guess, when you when you're factoring in these things. I only got it for a couple of bucks. So, also scored this Gyarados Hollow, as well as this. Now, this one was a first edition Machamp. Um, it does have the shadow, but it was a good price and it was first edition. So I figured, why not? Um, now, some of the funny things about ordering on eBay is how you get the cards. Um, normally, people do a really good job and take and like send it in bubble pack and whatever, whatever. I haven't had too many bad experiences, although the first time <laughs> I got my cards and literally just a thank you card. When I when I pulled the envelope out of the mail. I was kind of feeling how flexible it was, and I was like, well, that's not good. And I pulled it out, and my cards were in this thank you card. And I thought that was so bizarre. Um, but, yeah. Um, it, it really is amazing at what you can find on eBay. Um, I definitely try to find certain auctions that maybe aren't getting a lot of attention and that's why you're able to get them from such a good price really um and that's you know even if you already have the card if you know you could resell it later then why not you know um i was i guess i was a little disappointed with these ones in the fact that i didn't get typhlosion um and neogenesis they have two hollows of each of the starter evolutions, you know, for Alligator, Meganium, but um, I don't, I'm missing the two Typhlosion ones. And I'm not looking to necessarily complete all of these, but um, yeah, I got this for a really good price. And you know, sometimes there's some that get away, you know, I'll be, there's times I'll be scouting so much and eBay doesn't let you bid so many times on like, on like everything, which gets annoying, but I understand why they do it. Um, but at the last second, you'll just see stuff skyrocket. People just kind of watching it and waiting it for it to be over. But, um, yeah, it happens. Um, coming up on this channel, I'll bring these guys out to make this announcement. Um, coming up, I have, and this is very exciting. If you've watched my past videos, then you know how close I probably am to completing the generation sets. And I'm very close. And, um, uh, I just got the... The Red and Blue Collection Pikachu EX box, the one that's coming out this month um, with the figurine. 
not like the legendary collection one, but the one that's like these. Um, that's coming on the way, as well as September's Mythical Pokemon Generations box that has Victini in it. That is also coming, and I'll probably have a random pack opening as well soon. Um, so definitely stay, stay tuned for that. I'm so looking forward to the Pikachu box because I am very close to completing it, and I have a good feeling about these next ones, so definitely don't miss out on that. Um, if you like this video, let, let me know. Um, subscribe if you'd like. Uh, I definitely appreciate the followers that I've been getting recently and the comments that I've gotten. And I am very excited to, to open up that last um, the red and blue collection EX box with Pikachu. So definitely don't miss out. I'm sure it won't disappoint. And thanks for watching.